Welcome back to I'm so hopelessly shit at this game but I've already basically ruined the first mission of the game and it was one of the easiest missions in the game. Yeah, it's gone wrong. Very, 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 very wrong. Um, I am basically at the end of the last episode, obviously we ended on a cliffhanger of sorts. I gave the order to rig the election and it still looks like it ain't gonna help. Uh, that Gary the bitch has 18 votes. I have 9 votes. So basically, the people who I have given everything to are going to ungratefully kick me off. So let's set the speed to normal. And await with bated breath the results of the election. And if I lose, well, I'm just going to do a good... Oh. Presidente. Marco Vargas, leader of the local capitalists, has been voicing concern about the heavy dependence of Tropico's economy on low-profit activities like farming and resource gathering. Perhaps if we build more industries or attract more tourists, we can make a nice profit and satisfy the capitalists too. I hear your concerns, Mr. Vargas, but unfortunately I don't have enough people to sustain an industrial economy, so we are going to have to stay simple. Sorry, Presidente, but even with the help of five adjusted balloons, you still lost 13 to 4. Your people are looking for a fresh voice to guide them, and frankly, would not rather not see you around anymore. Time to move on, ex-presidente. Oh well, there we go then, I'm gonna go drown myself in the sea because you all clearly hate me. You fucking ungrateful pieces of shit who- 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 I managed to fuck up the first mission of the game. Oh well, I did the same on Traffic Giant, and look at where I'm at with that game. I'm like the god of Traffic Giant here, so here, from my mistakes, I will learn to become the god of Tropico. So what did I learn from this failure then? What can I learn? Because next episode, I'm going to retry it. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty short episode, but yeah. Consider this filler content, but... So what, what can I do to avoid failure? Well, let's, let's just roll back the clock about three episodes ago. Um, what was I on? I had about 13,000 in the bank. Happiness was uh, about a 43 area. Oh, look, by the way, happiness has shot to 42 now. I'm out of power. And, um, you know, economy was functioning well. And then, you know, what did happen at the end of that episode? Could anyone give me an answer? And I will give you a clue. It began with the letter H. H for hatred, H for hurricane. Yeah. Basically, what this, what I have learned here is that basically I will never switch random events on again because even at the lowest setting, they send something ridiculously retarded to. Well, it's not retarded, but ridiculously cruel to mess everything up. So, what I need to do next time is I need to learn how to better deal with crises. I had I did not deal with it properly. I mean, I thought I did by building a dock, but obviously, let's just look at the other thing which has been plaguing the happiness of our citizens throughout the mission. I mean, yes, we were getting on fine with a police station just to maintain order, and we were getting on fine with a farm to see that everyone was fed. But then I started overspending on shit stuff like tenements, extra farms we didn't need, and some stupid church in the clinic. I could have been off this island way sooner, but. Obviously, I blew it because I couldn't get people to work in the dock. And now, maybe I should use a different tactic to get people in. But what did I do? I went for the for the one well, the tutorial said bribe them with wages. Not obviously because I've been putting everyone's wages up, but I only put wages up on people who wanted to. I wanted to work. So basically, what happened there was obviously income disparity just jacked up. The farmers basically the, the farmers basically didn't make a lot of money. The lumberjacks didn't make a lot of money. The teamsters didn't make a lot of money. But the construction workers, the doctors, the policemen, and the dock workers, they were all grossly overpaid. Like, that's basically what I did wrong. So, next time, I'm going to learn how to keep a closer eye on my economy, learn how to keep this income disparity thing down, which I thought would never affect me on basically getting stranded, but here we go. This is a very, very odd situation. So, next time, we're going to start this mission over again, and I'm going to take the correct approach. We will just stick with our log economy. I will build some bunk houses, get a farm going. We will watch the cash roll in on a, a nice, efficient pace. And after that, we will have that airport and we will beat this mission. We will beat the first mission and then we will move on to something else. But 
yeah. So that's my action plan. So yeah. elections have dicked me over, which is a shame. So next time on Tropico, we're gonna start over and we're gonna try again because sadly even election rigging doesn't work. See you all in the next episode, folks. The people, they do not understand true greatness. Ah, a great leader is never appreciated until after their death. Speaking of which, do we have any water in this boat? And how far is it to Florida?